We've had a lot of questions about how to breathe during training. So we're gonna go over a couple of compound movements and then we'll talk about auxiliary movements. The first one is gonna be a squat. So I'm gonna have Jake step underneath the bar. He's gonna take a step out, get his feet set. We're gonna have him take a deep breath and settle that into his core. So he's actually gonna kind of tighten his core. Think of filling an inner tube, or I like to tell kids, if I were to punch him in the stomach, you brace that core to absorb that force. So he's going to squat down and expel his air out of the way up. And I want you to think of expelling that air through a straw. So you're going to take another deep breath, bracing the core, squats to parallel, up, blow it out. Okay. That's the basic squat. So we're going to concentrate on keeping that core tight. If you're doing a higher repetition squat, you might have to take a few more deep breaths in between reps as you get into higher reps. We keep most of our rep ranges between uh, three and five. So we don't really have to worry about that. If we're gonna do a breathing squat, that's a totally different story, which we can cover on a whole other topic. Uh, next, Russell's gonna do a deadlift. So he's gonna take a deep breath, raise his core, squat, bend over, grasp the bar, stand up, expel the air. He's gonna step all the way down, brace, up, breathe, hold it tight, brace, up. See how he's taking the breath in on the way down and bracing at the bottom, pushing his abs out and expelling the way on top. The next move we're going to show you is a push press. So we're back to Jake. So he's going to set up. He's going to take a deep breath, bracing his core, dip, and drive. He's going to breathe on the way down. Brace, dip, and drive. Now these are the big compound movements. So we're all going to try to keep our core nice and tight during the compound movements. Okay, that's, that keeps us stable and allows us to transfer power from our lower extremities to our upper extremities, or vice versa. Now, if you're going to do auxiliary movements, you're going to do any type of isolation movements, it's a little bit different. I would really say breathe in on the eccentric, blow out on the concentric, because you're on a fixed piece of equipment. Okay, when you're using compound movements, you need to use your, bra your brace is your actual core. Okay, if you're on a fixed piece of equipment like a hammer strength or some type of selectorized equipment, and you're doing some isolation type training, you don't need to brace your core as much because your core is actually, it's, it's actually isolating the muscle and your support is not, not as big of an importance for you to keep your core tight. But on these big compound movements, you've got to continually keep that core tight to protect yourself and transfer the, the power from your lower extremities to your upper, from your upper to your lower. Until next time, thanks.